What's up, modern steaders? I think my chickens listen better than my dog. Watch this. Come on, girls. Let's go. I don't know if you heard that at all, but you see all the chickens run either under the stairs or in the chicken coop. You know what happened? I heard a crow crowing, and then they spooked and they ran under. That's awesome instincts. Woohoo! That's good to see that happen. Kind of made me jump for a second, but now I know why they did it. And I know that this Mr. Rooster right here will protect his ladies good while they're out free ranging. There's a couple of them hiding under the steps. Oh, they were under the chair. Oh, look at them all coming out. That is some good instincts, ladies. Let's go check on that broody hen. I don't know how long. We're gonna say hello. We're gonna put her back in the nest box that she needs to be in. Let's see if she'll stay there this time. I don't know how long she was off of that one nest for, but she was on a different nest with new eggs. And I don't want her to keep moving and changing different positions and sitting on new eggs. Those eggs are the first ones she's been sitting on. So we'll collect these eggs today. Even if those ones don't hatch out, I'm gonna try to see how to get her to stay in that one nesting box. Maybe it won't work. I don't know, but it's worth a try. The way I look at it is those eggs have already been claimed by her and we're not going to do anything with them. So let's just keep her sitting back there and see what happens. She looks like she's not very happy with me right now. Look at her. She's pissed. Look at that mohawk, lady. Look at the mohawk. Good morning, modern steaders. It's the next morning. We're going to feed the chickies. Let's go see if that broody, silky hen is still in the same nest box. Morning, ladies. <laughs> so there's the broody hen. She's in the same spot. She's don't even like us giving her food. And every morning when we come out, she's always in the same nesting box that we put her in that afternoon. So I'm kind of wondering if there's another chick kicking her out of her spot. And then after she gets up from getting a drink, there's another bird in there and she can't get back in there. I don't know, but what's your experience with this? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think or what some different ideas I could be doing. We don't have another coop or anything we can put her in at this time. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to make this situation work with what we have. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. It really helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.